Harry with the next episode of the On Mission vlog. And we are here uh, to just share again, what does it mean to be on mission for Jesus? If you're a follower of Jesus, you've been called to be on a mission, to go and make disciples of all nations, uh, to love the people around you the way you would love yourself. And, and the Bible is very clear that people are going to know the difference between us as followers of Jesus and the rest of the world based on how we love each other and how we love other people. And so uh, we have been episode after episode talking about different ways that we can do that. Uh, we talked about how we do that on social media and we talked about it in so many different ways. And you can see those other episodes um, on my Facebook page, on my Instagram page as well. We also have a podcast on Podbean, and so I encourage you to check those out. But today, I'm giving you some real life examples of what it means to be on mission for Jesus. As you can see behind me, there are cars and different people that are lined up all the way to the back of our property, uh, past our property and over to the back road over there. Uh, and they are lined up because they have a need right now. They need food. They need supplies and things like that. And so we got a call uh, at the beginning of this week from one of the food banks and they said, hey, we've got a surplus of food. We need a place to hand it out and give it to people. And we jumped at the opportunity. Uh, it was short notice, but we were like, we've got a great facility for this. We've got a great parking lot for it. And so uh, we got on the horn and started calling up our volunteers and our people because this has been the season of the distribution at our church. But this has been a very practical way for us to be on mission uh, for Jesus. And so as you can see, we've got people of all ages. We've got kids that are involved. We've got uh, older folks who are involved. We've got everybody in between as well. Uh, and this is just an easy way for us to say, hey, we love you. We're going to sacrifice some of our time and our energy uh, to be able to do this. Uh, and, and so we're able to pray for them. We're able to just share the love of Jesus with them. And, you know, there's so many of these folks, they're struggling right now. Uh, and so if we as followers of Jesus aren't going to turn uh, uh, towards people right now and help them in the midst of all of this that's going on, whether that's because their their jobs are gone or, or it's because uh, the federal programs are all backed up to help people who don't have jobs or if it's because they can't go to work because of health conditions or different things with the coronavirus and things like that. If we can't do that now, man, it, I, I don't know when we're going to be able to do it. So it's taking advantage of opportunities like this to say, yeah, man, this stinks. But we are going to get out there and we're going to do the best we can with what we have to help people as much as we can. And hopefully it makes them wonder and ask questions like, why are y'all doing this? Why do you care so much about us? And, and, and who knows? Maybe there will be an opportunity in the near future for us to continue to share the love of Jesus with them. Maybe they will come through the doors of our church. Um, but if we're never on mission, if we're never doing anything that makes people realize that we are actually his followers and that there's something different about us, then they're going to look at our lives and they're just going to think, eh, I mean, you've got God in your life, but really what, what's, what's the difference? You look just like me. You go to work, you go home. Yeah, I mean, you're a nice enough person, but you're just doing your thing and you're worrying about yourself and you're getting your stuff done like everybody else. And so uh, this is the big thing that I wanted to hit, hit on today for our, for our vlog. Uh, and so this is a, just another great opportunity. And there are lots of opportunities. If you go to our church, I mean, there are tons of opportunities to be on mission on a regular basis. Uh, but there are opportunities at most churches to be on mission. Uh, and, and you don't have to do it through your church though either. You can love your neighbors and you can love your coworkers and you can love your friends and even your enemies in a way that will turn heads. Sometimes you just have to think out of the box. Sometimes you gotta go and get involved with other community organizations, but there are lots and lots of different ways that we can do this. And I don't know about you, but right now we live in live in a time with all this political turmoil, with all that's going on right now, we live in a time where we need unity. And if we can't unite in loving people who have needs, like the folks who've come here today, then it's going to be difficult for us to unite on anything. And, and the fact of the matter is, is that no matter what way this political election goes, after all the court hearings and all the recounts and all the different things, it really doesn't matter because those politicians are not going to save us. Jesus can, though. 
uh, and, and he will. We know in the end he wins, and it's our job as his followers to share that message with other people, to love on them, not only with our words, but also with our actions. So that's the vlog for today. I hope it inspires you, and I hope you will get out there and give back and love the people around you in a way that is just makes a huge impact on them. Thank you all for tuning in. I look forward to talking and speaking with you again in a couple weeks.